Howdy folks, just a quick little meteor mission on SnowRunner. And um, we might get in two, but we'll see. See as it plays out. Right now we're taking off in the Boron, I think this is. And all we're going to do I suppose I could show you this quick. Show you what I've been doing. I've been running around. And clear down in this corner. Back up toward the middle. Discover the crater. Discovered some jobs. A couple vehicles. Pulled this maintenance trailer out of the middle of the swamp. Um, was checking out what kind of freight I could get here and accidentally spawned a, um, a block of, of cement, pallet of cement onto the manual loading platform. It's alright, it'll still be there later. I'm The M134 is sitting right here at Exploration Supply it's where I figured I had it cleared out enough to be able to do this job. Um, I could have done the job anyways. All you do is follow this pipeline till you get to the other end. Could do that in my sleep. In fact, I am, I am kind of doing it in my sleep. It's almost 2 o'clock in the morning and I can barely keep my eyes open. Turn right, there we go. Yes, thank you, I needed that. This, um, gateway in the pipeline, well, there isn't a gateway until you fix it. But once you can go through there, it really opens up the map. First time I tried to get to this meteor base in front of us. The road, you know, the map says the road goes this way and there's a sharp I think we end up recovering that shit later. Um, but there's a sharp bend in it, and the truck and trailer kept tipping over. And but I could see. That there appeared to be a shortcut. I could I could see that the um, 
this large crane at the meteor base right out in front of me you can just see it up there now but according to the map you make that turn and you go around and <clears throat> that was the only time that I even attempted to make that turn and go that way once I discovered the shortcut I used it every time This doesn't seem to be making any forward progress. Of course, not surprising with the wheels on it. Well, they are the good Tega wheels. I'll give them that. They are the ones that have decent tread on them, instead of the ones that look like they're almost bald. But, um, still, that doesn't mean that they have a good rating. They can be a tag a tire, but if it's only got a, but if it's only got a, a uh, 2.5 substance rating or something like that or a uh, 2.5 body friction they're still gonna be shit it doesn't matter what the t tire looks like it could be completely void of tread what matters is the asphalt friction, the body friction, and the substance friction numbers in the XML file. You could run baloney skins on, on the rims as long as you have good numbers in the XML file. But anyways, let's unload. One, two and you have been promoted I know there's a job coming up that why is there still one on the truck it said that I needed two it left one on the truck There's no other place to get rid of it here. I started to say... Um, There's a pipeline crossing, one metal beam. And these jobs, they won't even tell you where to get stuff until you activate it. But I noticed earlier that there was one job in each
of the three whatever you call them that was locked until I completed this job but now it says it's still locked No, there we go. Visit the old campsite. Activate. I want to see where it is. Where's the old campsite? Mm, back up the other end of the pipeline we just ran down. Actually, you know, I've got the... Um, Apache not very far from that and then I could probably hit the watchtower after that oh, sure why not Go back and shut this off. I don't know why it didn't take both of them. It said I was supposed to unload two. When I look at that job though it doesn't say what the hell was the name of it welcome to meteor base it doesn't have it ticked off at the bottom I started, that's what I was saying. Um, I started saying there was a job that I needed a low saddle for. Um, and there's a trailer store here, but there's no way to transform the truck to accept a low saddle. Now without sending it back to the garage. And by then you're all the way back over here. So, anyways. Shut this off. Go back to the... Eh, one oil barrel. We need three so it shows us where one is. Two spare parts in a consumable? I believe that's a consumable. They leave. Certain things like this around all over the map 
but they never match they never completely match a job like everything on the trailer goes to one job no it's like two of the items one jo one item goes to this job one item goes to that job you know maybe two items go to that job and the other one goes to a different job it's it's that kind of shit that's why I don't usually use them I just go get what I need but that said the job we were on isn't marked anymore I think it was it was the one for camp yes I don't know what it is but it's listed there again so campsite it's on my screen I told you it's it's late and I'm half asleep. I did um, most of that other running around with the M134. This thing has just been sitting here since I <clears throat> since I first located. the Voron with the two spare parts it's nice running around in the M134 it just cruises right around you just you don't even care about where the roads are you just make your own That's a familiar riverbed. Oh, now what is it trying to tell me? There's the dam, which means we're getting close to several jobs. Oh, I remember. Remember this job? I went up here. Well, I was bringing shit out with the Kraz for this place up in the corner. And, um, drove up here <clears throat> and ticked off that job before I took the loaded trailer up there what you have to do here is uh, cross the river right there and but you can't drive through the river except to cross it and I don't remember how I got down there I came uh, move the camera I think I came up that valley over there. There's no bridge up here. When you fix it, you can use this bridge.
I remember it being shallow enough to cross here. But that was when the game was in Russian. It's different now. He's done things differently since he put it on the US server. I mean, you can't cross. Whoa. You can't go through that. what I did. Oh, see, it's not even there. I came down one side and crossed to the opposite embankment. And it was thin enough, you know, it was shallow enough to do so. But there's no road on this side. And that's what, that's what that's supposed to be now, but it was a dirt road. But I haven't crossed the river yet, so... And that's on my side. And I know it wasn't this really wide thing. It was just like 50 feet and you were across. Maybe it was coming down this way. Uh, but I remember trying to climb out that way one time. And no freaking way was it going to climb the hill. It looks like he took out the shortcut. I think if I bypass this bridge, the bridge o over here is okay. So I have to go back to where we started, go under the pipeline, and then follow these roads. Am I turning the right direction? No, why would I turn the right direction? Okay. Yeah. <sighs> I 
All right. We'll go around. person could maybe make it down that slope there, but what does that get you? In the middle of a river that's 30 feet deep. You could go down right there though, or also, but still all you you can't you can't follow the riverbank but you can get to the other side of the river right here it's the only place you can get under the pipeline short of going all the way up to where it needs to be repaired. Whoops. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I go up over the hill. It looks familiar. Yeah. Go up over the hill. Just keep following this trail. Then I'll hit the wider trail. And then I can just kind of ignore the skinny little thing and run cross country I believe but we'll cross that past when we get to it as they say Here's the wider road. And then we get back onto the skinny one again. Oh yeah, this place. I think I already went too far, missed the skinny road. Yeah. See, I need to be on the other side of that. The banks are too steep from over here. I should have checked the map as soon as 
I got up to where the intersections are. Yeah, this is another factory where you can get something. I don't remember what. Metal, maybe? This is the little skinny road. Takes you down the hillside. Crunch. And I think no. Nah. I was gonna say this. I think coming up is the river crossing that I was thinking we were supposed to do at the other place. But yeah, I think this is. It doesn't show there's water running through there. But I remember going under the broken bridge. And then there was a little short river crossing. This is it. This is the river crossing that I was thinking of. When we were up there on those rocky ledges with nowhere to go. This is the river crossing that I was remembering. Fancy is discovered. Okay, so there was this smart tourist in his fancy SUV. Oh, that's, that's right. Um, it's in the water right out there. Around the corner to the left. We told him a thousand times that he couldn't get across the river in his car, but he wouldn't listen to us pull, pull his car out of the river and take it to the garage and let him pay a little extra. Yeah, that's fine, but I'm not going back to the garage right now. And I'm not sure this thing can make this water crossing. I was doing it in a big truck before. See, there's the thing that's stuck there. And I'm taking water damage. And I'm not gonna... I'm gonna be dead before it gets across. Son of a bitch. Well, if I can pull it out, I have repair points. But where do I go? Where do I go back up the bank? I can't. get on it. To pull it out. Well, I guess it, I guess it washed up on the shore enough that I could probably repair it. But I have nowhere to go. I'm 
on the wrong side of the river down there to go hit camp. See, you're supposed to come out right there. I think if I can get to the top of the hill, up in here is another bridge. But you see, there's the other bridge, the one I said where if you bypass this bridge, you could use that one. Well, instead of doing that, I tried to cross the river. I should have simply by went up the embankment onto the road and across the bridge and we'd already be at camp. In fact, we could probably be at the watchtower by now. But I forget what I said I was going to do. I can't believe this thing doesn't have an offline winch. See, with a running, it has winch points. Stop engine, they're gone. How's a scout vehicle not have a offline winch? Well, there's obviously... Oh, excuse me. There's obviously no way I can get back across the river to go across the bridge that I wanted to go across. So, I have to do... try to do some rock climbing here and then some hill climbing I didn't want it to veer sharply to the left. I was trying to stay over here. Oh, for fuck's sake. Which way I try to go, whoops, it takes me back into the worst part of it. That big hole right there. Doesn't matter if I try to go around it. Try to go way the hell over here. And see what happens. Looks like it might make it. It couldn't pull me into the deep hole from 
30 feet away. Let's see where we're at. I saw a place going down the slope that almost looked like you could cross. But it was like right up here where there's huge boulders on the other side, so... So will... I know there's a road over here. So let's head straight for it. I wouldn't swear the bridge is any good. I can see the bridge from here. Looks like it's up. The mud field. I remember finding this, getting into this field with the Tega, and I couldn't hardly even move. I had to winch myself out to the edge of it and then I just started skirting it instead of trying to go through. This thing went through the field better than that Tega did. Yep, there's the bridge. Leads us right back to where the other bridge is. That we should have taken in the first place. This should have taken like five minutes to get over here. And we've been working on it for 20. Oh yeah, this is the part where you have to go around the curly queue. The hill is too steep to just ignore it and go straight across. Although I have in the Kras Chabors. But short of that.
Looks like we could maybe go straight up the hill to that watchtower. I know it doesn't look like we're that near the watchtower yet, but I think if I went this way and then climbed this, well, that's what I did in the Kras Chabors anyways. I was out here with stuff on the trailer and I just left the trailer and climbed up this hill with the crabs like, you know, it was just another piece of street. Come on, come on, come on. I wanna shut this off and go to bed. But I've got this, you know, goal in mind now. Which not sure I'm going to be able to make in this vehicle. No, oh, that ain't going to climb that. This thing ain't going to climb that. I could maybe get back down to campsite, but... This thing ain't gonna climb that. Oh, and now it's gonna roll over. And it doesn't have an offline winch. Nope. Well. I'll just send it back to the garage and everything that happened after delivering the repair parts. I'll just chop it off. Didn't happen. I'll buy a couple more M134s or something. You know what I should do? Uh, I shouldn't do it right now because I'm going to trash this video anyways. I'm not sure if I can even get it. Because it's a Russian truck.
and I didn't think to take the region restriction off of it. Yeah. I have to take the region restriction off of it, then I can buy that.